Hi and welcome to Last Watch. If you're wondering about the Dark Knight intro and why I have the Q Timex in hand, well, it's pretty much the theme of today's video. One of the best parts of running a YouTube channel is the interaction I have with you, my audience. I love hearing from you guys and I do my best to answer every comment. Even the haters get a response. I think it's safe to say that I probably learn more from you guys than you do from me. As well as comments on my videos, I also get a fair few emails full of questions and offers of support, others with juicy bits of information or just really good stories that you want to share with me about your watch collecting experiences and your recent purchases. On the whole, I keep the content of those emails confidential. I'm in a privileged position, a position of trust, and I'd like to keep it that way. Recently, an individual contacted me with information that, shall we say, raised an eyebrow or two. Today, I'd like to share that information with you. It's not that startling, but serves to confirm something you may already be aware of. Now, for reasons that will become apparent, that individual has asked to remain anonymous. Before we get started, if you haven't already done so, I would appreciate if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel. It will literally take seconds to do so and won't cost you a penny. Not long after unveiling the Q Timex, I got an email from a watch industry insider who, to say the least, has a close relationship with Timex. As Mr Q is already taken, let's call him Mr T. Mr T had just watched my recent unboxing of the Q Timex and was so excited about what was happening with the brand that he decided to share it with me. He informed me that there was more to come from both the Marlin and the Q Timex ranges between now, the holidays and into early next year and that the head designer, Giorgio Galli, was working on something very special. Now, I had no way of confirming whether Mr T was legit and due to promised confidentiality, I had no way of checking, so I decided to sit on the information. It was literally three days after this communication that a French website inadvertently advertised the Q Timex Batman, and the web went crazy discussing whether or not the Batman was real or fake news. Some even suggesting that it was a clever artist's render. I contacted Mr T and he was somewhat coy about the Batman's legitimacy. It was also around this time that Timex started teasing the S1 automatic conceived again by Mr Galley. Within the last week, the Marlin range has also been supplemented by another Peanuts watch, donning the Charlie Brown character flying a kite. That would seem to be three predictions from Mr T that have come to fruition in short succession. There's a saying that I was brought up with that goes something like, once an accident, Twice a coincidence, but three times as a habit. Actually, I've since found out that that's a misquote from Ian Fleming, as the actual quote is, once is happenstance, twice is coincidence, three times is enemy action. The point I'm making is, three out of three is more than a good guess. As the cat was well and truly out of the bag, I decided to press Mr T for more information. This time he was more forthcoming. He admitted that the Batman is real and that Timex had been caught on the hop because having a watch leaked isn't something that Timex would normally have to worry about. I guess that shows just how popular the Q Timex is at the moment. He also said it was odd that the leak happened in France, which is where most of their watches are produced, as opposed to Asia or America. Now, I don't know enough about how Timex do their business, but I'm guessing when Mr T says produced, that he's referring to its design before it goes out for production. That would kind of make sense being that their creative designer, Mr Galley, is based in Europe. Mr T says the French website shouldn't be trusted. I guess their leak has ruffled a few feathers and may have upset the management at Timex. Or just suppose for a moment that the French website were given the nod to release the images. It will be interesting to see if Ocarat get any stock when the Batman is released. Ocarat have a release date of January 2020. Mr T tells me that the launch will more likely be in the spring. What does this mean? Well, unless I'm completely off the mark, the Timex Batman is 100% legit and you'll be able to get your hands on one just in time for Easter next year. Provided, of course, that you are lucky enough to snap one up before it's sold out. There's also a suggestion that there will be more to come from the Q Timex range. What that might be is anyone's guess. The Batman will come nearly a year after the launch of the Q. If Timex have a third incarnation planned, that could well be another year away. I suspect the Q Timex was Timex's way of testing the water. Now they've got their toes wet and considering how popular the Q has been, it makes total business sense to release more variations of the Q Timex range. 
I'd be very surprised if Timex suddenly decided to flood the market with Q Timexes, especially considering that their limited runs seem to be creating a demand for the watch. I guess if it works for Rolex, who make what we consider high ticket items, then it can certainly work for a Timex selling for a fraction of the price. The fear that you may not be able to get your hands on a watch means you're more likely to pay a premium to own one. The Q Timex has been a runaway success. Everyone loves the Pepsi bezel. I'm sure the Batman with an automatic movement will go day in a storm. Now let's pretend I'm doing market research for Timex. The question I have to ask you is, what would you like to see next in the Q range? An all black bezel maybe, or possibly a root beer? I will let your imaginations run wild. You can add your suggestions in the comments below. Mr. T has promised to keep me in the loop. I may have to sit on my hands when he does so. If I get anything I can share with you that doesn't blow his cover, you'll be the first to know. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.